for an NHL player, hockey life begins in the room, the sanctuary that fosters camaraderie and leadership, and a place where the players call home most of the calendar year. Go into an NHL locker room per se, it's not necessarily a big room, but that's where that chemistry really starts, the bond. You can sense a good room from a bad room when there's all that chatter. You come in after a practice or a skate and you see the guys getting along and the, the jabs going back and forth and you can get that real feeling of, of basically it being a family. And then that really carries over to the ice, the chemistry that they have to build in a locker room setting. It really goes out there on the ice and that's how you have success in this game. The first Sharks room began as a mix of players from the Minnesota North Stars, including defenseman Rob Zettler and Tom Peterson, along with goaltenders Brian Hayward and Artur Urbe. One player who arrived from Minnesota is recognizable by his first name only, Link. Several veteran players were added from other NHL teams, including the Sharks' first captain, Doug Wilson, forward Kelly Kissio, and Dean Evason. And out of the Western Hockey League, the team's first ever, first round NHL draft selection, forward Pat Falloon. The team's relocation to San Jose in 1993 brought established stars who were destined to reverse the franchise's fortunes and change a city. Igor Larionov, Sergei Makarov, Ulf Dahlin, along with character voices like Jamie Baker, Bob Airy, and young faces of the future like Jeff Friesen and Mike Rathje. The Sharks' mid-1990s transition brought future captain Owen Nolan to San Jose, along with a revised veteran corps intended to re-establish the Sharks' winning ways. This group included Tony Granato, Brian Marchment, and Vincent Damfus. It was around this time that one of the most iconic and recognizable players in franchise history also came to San Jose, Mike Ricci. As the franchise experienced more success heading towards the new century, more young faces joined the club, such as Marcus Rangerson, Marco Sturm, and a fresh-faced 17-year-old forward from Aneroid, Saskatchewan, who would go on to become the most prolific player in team history, Patrick Marlowe. Get it to Marlow, plays it off the check from Latang, flips it over, Ward the shot, save, rebound, score! Brent Burns on the back door, fires the rebound home, it's 1-0 Sharks, and that's going to be point number 1,000 for Patrick Marlow. The 21st century saw a new wave of talent emerge that would lead the Sharks to greater heights. Led by a little-known goaltender from Kazakhstan who would spend 10 seasons in net for San Jose, Yevgeny Nabokov. The team's prowess at the draft table would impact the Sharks' fortunes for the next several seasons, with additions like Scott Hannon, Brad Stewart, and a player from one of the most remote parts of North America, Moose Factory's Jonathan Chichu. The early 2000s brought one of the game's most dynamic offensive players in Temu Solani, and added grit with Scott Thornton and Kyle McLaren. Following a trip to the 2004 Western Conference Final, the team got a taste of playoff success they had been seeking. Then San Jose shocked the hockey world with a trade that would alter the course of the franchise. Jumbo Joe Thornton was a shark. More faces familiar to Sharks fans came to San Jose through the NHL draft. Mark Edward Vlasic, Ryan Klo, and an eventual future captain of the franchise, Joe Pavelski. All-star defenseman Dan Boyle and Rob Blake arrived in 2008 followed shortly by a late round draft steal in Justin Braun and a standout first round selection in Logan Couture. Building around a cohesive core of players, the Sharks began a run of success and consistency rarely seen in professional sports. 10 straight playoff appearances and three trips to the Western Conference Finals. Moving into the century's second decade, massive rover Brent Burns made his debut in San Jose dominating games on both ends of the ice. And a new wave of up and coming skaters began making names for themselves. Sharks players of today share one thing in common with every other individual who has donned the teal in their career. The good fortune of playing in front of the greatest fans in the NHL and the burning desire to bring hockey's most coveted symbol, the Stanley Cup to San Jose. There have been all-stars and playoff heroes. Some have spent their entire career in Teal, 
Some were here for only a short moment, but memorable time. But all are forever tied together in the San Jose Sharks family. When a player came here, he maybe didn't always know what he was getting himself into, but once that player was here, the same story played out all the time, that they enjoyed their time in San Jose. They enjoyed playing for these fans. And a lot of players have settled back here in the area now after their careers are over, which doesn't surprise me. I think San Jose has been a great destination for so many NHL players. To all of the Sharks players, past and present, we say thank you.